Hello and good evening. The fans are in full voice tonight as the players come out onto the pitch. In position next to me is Trevor Brooking. Hello, Peter. Good evening to everyone watching this one. Some top-class football, absolutely guaranteed, I think. Let's get cracking. Even though this is just an exhibition match, the fans for both teams in the stadiums are really up for this encounter. Let's just hope the players follow suit. We're off, and this is a contest sure to please football fans worldwide. Let's see what kind of match these two teams can produce. Here's the opportunity for a ball in to open the score. Well read. Carries the ball through the middle. To the man in space. Will he find the target now? They look unbeatable. Impressive. 15 minutes into the first half. Still on the ball here. Hits for goal! Can they keep defending like that? This man's dangerous on the cross. He's gone for goal. In the penalty area. They can swing it in from the left wing. Four header on goal! Well off target. He needs to do better than that. 15 minutes left of the first half. Passes back to the keeper. The keeper comes forward and the ball ends up in his arms. Runs with the ball towards the right flank. Terrible tackle, gives away a free kick. And that's a yellow card for him. Maybe a harsh decision, it would seem. But he didn't get the ball, and that's what matters to the referee. He crosses it in. Solid defence in the box. It looks like he'll go for a cross. Win possession, the attack came to nothing. There'll be one extra minute. Reads it well. Dealt with a threat expertly. The referee blows his whistle and it's the end of the first half here. Let's see if the manager's advice can affect the players in any way. Hopefully in the right way. Trevor, how did you see that half? Well, the fans are looking a bit frustrated, Peter. The team are playing well, but can't take advantage in front of goal. I can hear the manager's words right now. Put the ball in the back of the net. So neither team making the break. It's nil-nil. The second half underway. Will the players respond to their respective managers' half-time team talks? They've switched sides for the second half. Well worked to win possession. It's knocked back to the keeper. And the keeper has it.
They're defending well, very well indeed. Possession gained there. Into the box. He put it in. There's the opener. Finally, they have hit the opener. So the game will really open up now they've scored, surely, because I can't see them just sitting back and defending. Great goal there, Trevor. A superb run and finish. What a magnificent talent. When he has the ball at his feet, there's no one quite like him. They've taken the lead. How do you see the game developing from here on then, Trevor? Well, from a fan's point of view, the goal's great news. Their opponents can no longer sit back, content with things as they stand. And the shot... It's there! They score again. That's two without reply. Great goal from the forward. You could just sense the relief from the attacker and his teammates when that went in. A two-goal cushion does take the pressure off them a little. What did you make of the goal, Trevor? Four marks to the finish, but for me it was the pass which split the defence and stood out. Well, it's a pleasure to watch a team in this kind of form. Absolutely, Peter. I think the opposition could learn a few lessons from this. We've reached the last 15 minutes. And it's given to the keeper. Brings it under control. They've done everything possible to keep the ball out of the box. We're into the last five minutes. Still in possession here, held on to the ball there. And he shoots from there. The keeper tidies up. There's the whistle. Really put in the effort today to chalk up the win. Their supporters will be absolutely delighted with the way that they played too, and of course the result. Would you say the game went to plan, Trevor? More or less, yes. They have a couple of things to work on, though. So our live coverage comes to an end this evening. And all that remains is for me to thank my co-commentator, Trevor Brooking. Oh, it's been a great night, Peter. And from the both of us, it's goodbye. <laughs>